Hey there, my name is Alex. Welcome to Audit, which is short for Audit Duration. Today I'm going to talk about talking. Who gets to talk? There does seem to be a pecking order, doesn't there? Basically, you either have to be charismatic or you have to be accredited to be taken seriously. Um, here's what it breaks down to. I'm going to be talking about it on the micro level, which is just the conversational level. And here's why I'm talking about it. I'm talking about it because public discourse is the most important thing in a democratic republic, which is what the United States is. We're represented by people who are supposed to be enlightened, but who we in turn enlighten, and the quality of us informing our representatives will depend on how we inform each other, which means we're going to have to learn to talk to each other. Well, um, conversation is pretty much everything that I'm just going to put out there. I know that there's a whole thing in our culture of talk being cheap, but no, no. Conversation is everything. The exchange of ideas, of information, is basically how we progress. No set of ideas flourishes in a vacuum. Everything is a conglomeration of knowledge, and that is greatly enhanced by enhanced communication. So, that being said, let's do away with this pecking order thing. You either have to be accredited or you have to be charismatic because not a whole lot of people are charismatic and not a whole lot of people are accredited. But a whole lot of people have something worthwhile to say. The whole point of general education as we know it, public schools like mandatory ability to read and write is so that we have a populace that's able to carry on this dialogue, to carry on the basic business of, well, living in a democratic republic. It wasn't necessarily established just specifically for that, but it literally is there to help us do that. That's one of its kind of main branches of cause for being. But here's the, here's the thing. That means that we have to stop preening. <laughs> if most people of average intelligence have this education, that means they have the arsenal and the capacity to discuss ideas. The thing about charismatic experts when they happen is that they're still human and they're still going to get things wrong. So a guy being able to point that out and be heard is very important. Now why might we not be hearing things like important corrections from the populace, from the peanut gallery as it were? Well because the peanut gallery, by and large, is so tuned in and fighting so much in amongst themselves for position in the pecking order that the atmosphere basically deafens things, and so only the most loud, shrill, crazy voices oftentimes are the ones that get heard. You see, the whole reason I'm thinking about this is like uh, these past few videos, if you've been watching my channel, I've been talking about how water is not given enough to consideration. I mean, yeah, there's some media coverage of it every once in a while, especially if something like Flint happens, but, you know, I only just now found out about nitrification and nitrogen getting into the Gulf of Mexico and causing these algal blooms and things to happen and killing a lot of life and stuff. And I think that's a pretty big issue. And according to what a lot of experts have been saying, well, <laughs> water is going to become an issue. But you see, these experts are actually also on the... Uh, pecking order of not getting listened to because it's all overtaken by global warming talk or some other such thing that's going on in the zeitgeist. Now, likewise, that's I'm talking about the macro level of, you know, media and reporting, YouTube and social media and all that. There's also the micro level of people just talking in amongst themselves, be it at a restaurant, be it friends hanging out in a living room, be it people in a church or at a political event. What happens is Everybody immediately establishes a pecking order, and Quiet Ted doesn't necessarily get to have his say. It might partially be Quiet Ted's fault because he decided to be Quiet Ted. But the reason I think that a lot of people don't contribute to conversation, even though they probably have a lot of worthwhile things to say, is we have this weird atmosphere of, well, that person is cool and good at talking, or that person is a, a Mr. College or something, and so, yeah, I'm going to see the floor. But that's the, the thing of it is, is one man sharpens another, and you need to have people comfortable talking to each other and exchanging ideas and sharpening each other. Otherwise, we're going to see what we've been seeing, basically. That's, I mean, if you've been watching the news cycle, you know what I'm talking about, all right? 
Um, if you like what you've been seeing so far, comment below. Even if you don't like it, comment below. Uh, hit the thumbs up. That would help me greatly. I mean, if you don't want to, obviously. You don't have to. And also, I've got a Patreon. I want to continue making stuff because I find it uh, interesting and worthwhile. I've got the Fractal Journal running, which you can check out. I'll link to it in the description below. Basically doing lots and lots of stuff. And the more that I'm able to generate revenue with it, the better the quality will improve. But of course, I'm going to be improving quality regardless of whether I make money off of it. So, I just gotta, I just gotta say, just gotta try because, you know, it's the way it is. Thanks for listening, and don't let yourself be drowned out. Cheers.